fidget nerd. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Fidget Nerd channel. I am Zachary Butcher, and I have with me here today, I've got the one and only Samuel Roscoe from 2EDC, the legendary 2EDC. Uh, we are going to hang out, and we are going to we're gonna be doing a mix of stuff, but uh, we are going to be opening his uh, Mocha May triangle that I think I bought back in June, July, it's amazing how long sometimes you wait for these things and you just learn to forget about it. Well, I have. Some people go through some struggles of waiting. Anyway, yeah, uh, Sam and I were, uh, were chatting about a lot of things. Sam, you're a cool guy to talk to because you have a lot of good ideas and uh, you've been around for a long time in this, a lot longer than I have, for sure. Early 2017. When I got into it, the beginning, just before the peak, you know, the spinner peak, 2017. Yeah, a lot of fun. Still, just as passionate now as I was when it started. So, and isn't that funny? Like, I have never had a hobby ever in my life, and I've been through a lot of hobbies being the kind of ADHD type. You just call Sam old. Sorry, oh, she's here already. Did you just call Sam old? You were like, he's been here around a long time. Longer the spinner than me. world. That's rude. Hey, I'm pushing. <laughs> I'm pushing forty. Okay, I don't know about Sam here, but <laughs> Sam, <laughs> yeah, you didn't same. mean that. You look beautiful for your age. So does Sam. You're beautiful, Sam. You're a young. You're a young pup. A young chicken. But we love a, a, chick, a chicken pup. A, a chup. What? Sam. <laughs> Damn liberals. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, honey. What year were you born in, um, Sam? 86. You're a year younger than yeah. me. Year younger than me. Oh, really? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, look at that. We're kind of like the same age. Damn, Zach, you are a youngster. Pam. Okay. Cool. Great. I'll take it. I'm young. Excellent. Hey Pam, hey, I'm just a Feel young. <laughs> fidget. Oh, f just fidget. You're, you're. Uh, uh, what was your name again? You're uh, Matthew. Matthew, right? Matthew is. I'm just a fidget. I think. And then yes, wife was spamming. Excellent. Ethan, are you still here? Ethan hasn't been here in a long time. Super E is Ethan. J Dizzy, what up, Pippin? Cornelius. Cool stuff. And hey, Kieran. Hey, Chris. Perfect. Good. Chris. What's up, Chris? Hey. Everyone can hear Sam just fine? Hey, Ethan. All that stuff? Good? Okay. You guys let me know, as usual, if, you know, I am messing things up. Hey, Ali. Ali Ababwa. Prince Ali Ababwa is here. AAO. Excellent. Okay. How dare you call my alpha podcast? <laughs> okay, baby. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So what were we talking about before? Speed holes? Stuff like that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we were. I guess I had shown you this. Yeah. So he was showing me right before the, uh, the stream started, and we might the, as well continue our conversation here, but it's a test piece, you said? Yeah, a test piece from the Mokume triangles that we just finished up. Uh, and it's the only brass one that doesn't have holes. No holes. And I've been carrying it this week. It just has great gyro. Feels really good in hand. I feel like I don't have many brass spinners, if any now, besides this one. And I feel like it's just a really underrated material. Yeah. Do you find really that... Really cool, but with TI buttons here. Do you find that brass sings? Uh, depends on the spinner. I found that with um, my yes. brass comrade and my brass... Uh, where is it? The uh, This guy, the chubby phantom? I found that these ones, like for some reason, it just brass sings for some reason when it's spinning really fast. I, it's very yeah. hard to capture on camera and stuff. My brass torque bar, that that thing. Yeah, this is high pitched sort of thing going on there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, zero feud compasses, the try and the bar, those in brass, they sing. Yeah, I love that. 
I love that. Like about really it. generous cutouts though. So that they're really resonant. Hey, Cal, first time. First time to stream. I'm never home usually this time, but sick today. Oh, sorry about that. But win, hey? Sick, sick for the win. Hey, Brian Mercado. Brian Mercado makes the cool Brian. trays. What's up, Brian? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See a friend. Uh, perfect. Hey, Jeremy. Awesome. All right. So we might as well get some fidgets of the week out. I have a very eclectic sort of uh, thing this week. Try I kept it to four, though. So what I want to talk about was, of course, the uh, the Lati, the Lati uh, Noise C Nano with this Scepter thing. This thing has been really, really blowing my mind. I just keep grabbing it. It's it's Zen, Zen as fuck. If that's a you know a bumper sticker, which it is, right? So you know this makes me think of the bumper sticker Zen as fuck because I just grab this and I'm sitting there just. It's so quiet, so soothing, and it puts me in a trance. So I cannot really recommend this enough right now, like this kind of style, right? And I feel like Lati has made the Noise C Nano to not really work in your fingers. They kind of advertise it as something that's like, oh yeah, you can you know, like, you'll use it as a just a hand spinner. But I think it's made, it's very much made for their scepter. So if you wanted to get something like this, I think you should get it with the scepter attached. But this thing is great. I am very happy that I was able to kind of recognize that I wanted to like this and did like it and got it. And it's just, yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, this is like, and it's so easy to get. You can go to G1 or the Lati website and just order like a kit where you get the scepter and the spinner and the little bottom thing. I should have mentioned that this thing is, it's not going to unscrew, is it? But that little bottom part right there. That's an extra piece that you have to get. And to me, it's absolutely essential because it then completes the length in your hand and it makes it actually able to, you know, hold it comfortably and stuff. Otherwise, it's kind of a little short. So I would just get the full kit that comes with this and that. I was going to put the uh, lanyard because this uh, uh, allows you to put a lanyard and a bead on. And then I realized that I was having too much fun taking it and then putting it down on the desk and just letting it sit there and spin. And holy Lord, have I been surprised by spin times. I think this morning I took it and I spun it and then I went and grabbed the garbage and went and put the garbage out and then got distracted by something on the stairs and then came back, forgot that I'd had their spinning and then walked by and caught it in the corner of my eye and was like, oh my God, it's still spinning. It was like, who knows how long it had been. But anyway. I decided I don't want to have it because I don't want this flopping down all the time when I do that and like hitting the edge and stuff. So I'm keeping it like that. Also. Yeah. Lati makes some really, uh, really aerodynamic designs. They really do. And, and I, I don't know if anyone else rock. here is a Star Trek fan or like a sci-fi fan or anything like that, but I am, I grew up on uh, taped episodes of Star Trek, the next generation that my grandmother would bring home for me because I didn't have cable as a child. Mom's decision. Homeschool kid out in the country. You're not going to have cable or this kind of thing. Just go out and play with the chickens sort of lifestyle, right? So my grandmother would come and visit us and she would have taped on VHS these episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation. So she got me all started on that. So Lauti really lends to that because they do have this very space age sci-fi. They call it like a mecha sort of style. And as soon as I started getting into it and noticing that, I'm like, I'm really into it. And it's really hitting that for me. So I love that about their design cues and styles very much. Yeah, I had a rock at one point. It was a Zerk rock. And I, I think it was probably like 40 or 50 grams, very light, but it was so aerodynamic. Yes, the rock. I know exactly. It's been for like seven minutes. You know who has a rock is uh, Tim Blimbus or Mitchell. And I actually sold him yeah. some. Um, They're kind of hard, hard to find. Uh, I, you can, I, I just saw one. You could go order one on the G1 website. I'm pretty sure they're still available. Oh, really? Yeah, Rock 2.0 at I've least. I've never been to the G1 website. <laughs> well, they had. <laughs> Maybe I, should go I, check it I out. haven't been there much lately either, but it's like, man, you don't hardly have to spend any money just to get free shipping. And I don't know. It's just. Like it's good stuff, right? And you know, Lati's quality is that got to be. It's like, yeah, sure, it's made in China, but it's made well, you know. China can make anything you it's want and they can make well. anything amazingly or anything exactly as cheap as you want it to be made, right? So that's the whole thing. 
But uh, yeah, no, really into it. Really like it. And speaking of design cues. Hey, Victor. What's up? Who? Victor. Victor. Oh, Victor's here. Hola. Hola, Victor. He always comes on and says, hola. <laughs> So I can't stop grabbing the the nectar. It might seem like it's like, oh, Samuel's here. And I'm like plugging it because like he's here and stuff. But it's I, I swear to God, it's not. I literally keep grabbing this because it is. It's just it has, what would be the what, how would you call this? Sam? It has a it has a tight tolerance on its gyro. Really? Would you say it has a it is kind of tight tolerance on it like it's it, it depends on the bearing it does but honest. i find that um, bearings tend to be a little quieter in in this setup that i have going here and i will grab it a lot because a lot of my other spinners are kind of a little noisier and stuff and if i want to go and like lay down in bed and watch mm -hmm. a show and like you know your partner's there or something like that I, they don't really want to hear this like you know this like bearing you know just like ripping kind of thing so this has been mm -hmm. this has been one that just like is a total go to so ergonomic. I uh, I had it with me all yesterday when I had to drive to another town to go try to buy a car, and it was just yeah, it's perfect. I I grab it more than I ever thought I would. So remember, there yeah, the lack of holes probably helps. Um, you know, dampen that resonance that you would get. Yeah. And you were mentioning the, before the holes. that uh, holes are used to fixture things, usually in machining, right? Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I believe, yeah, like the cocoons and stuff, those were used for fixturing. Right. The pose, pose blade cocoons. Mm -hmm. So, how would, so I guess Nick is just such a master machinist that he can just fixture, because you said you have this, this uh, triangle there that has no yeah. holes. He'll just he just fig he just figures it, down, it out. You know? It 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 amazes me yeah. that the like what Nick has been able to just be like, okay, what's your design done? Got it. I'll figure it out. Right. Like yeah, seeing the process with Michael Morris and you know everything that goes into making a spinner or any machine good uh, really lets you appreciate yeah how good these guys are. Yeah. You know, in our community. Yeah. No legends. Absolute legends. <laughs> Samuel, will you be making brass triangles? I want to after this. This was kind of a surprise. Mm. Nick was like, I did a test piece in brass, you know, because you don't want to do a test piece with the Mokume. Um, and he just sent it along, and I've been loving it. It just has a great texture, great weight. Um, so I would expect to do more of those for sure. Excellent. And that actually segues. Especially with the TI buttons, because you get a little bit more feedback with the TI buttons. The tie buttons, you're saying? Love it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. absolutely. Yeah. Nothing like mixing materials with buttons. I love it. As case in point. Hey, Catherine. Here. And that segues oh. into, because Pam's asking, and you were mentioning before, can we direct people who don't go on Facebook how to enter susses still? Susses or like pre-orders? Pre-orders, susses, whatever, right? Like if you had a Google Forms up, right? Like how to, mm -hmm. how to just get that link to someone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right now you can email me, 2edc at gmail.com. Can I just put that into the chat? If you want, for sure. 2edc at gmail.com. I'll pop it right there. And you can always message me and see if I have anything, you know, from previous runs or I usually hold back one or two while everybody gets, uh, you know, what they ordered. Excellent. And then I'll hang on to it for a little bit. And then maybe sell it. Excellent. Perfect. So there you go. There you go, Pam. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. And yeah, now you have access. You got the email access. This is great. Perfect. There we go. So yeah, that's a bit another one. Having the uh having the nectar, not getting rid of the nectar. And that being said, if you go to the Facebook, uh if you go to the Facebook group right now for 2EDC, the link is down in the description. Or if you use that email, there is a pre-order right now for Nectar Pluses in Mocha May and Zerk. Regular Nectars and Nectar, Nectar Pluses yes. in Mocha May Nectar and, Nectar Pluses. and Zerk. That's huge. That is huge. Yeah. And we're uh, also offering the dished buttons this time yes. around. So if you I saw that. want the step, you can choose the step. If you want the dished, you can 
Here's the dish. So you're basically saying that you can, so you can't mix max buttons materials, right? You're saying you have to pick. Yeah, I just, you, you pick either dished, this is the dished button here. It's a generous dish, um, about three and a half or three millimeters deep. But you couldn't go and say, I want to have a mocha may spinner with Zerk dished buttons or something like that. You got to have it. Not on the form, but if you message me and you want to, you know, do that, it'd probably be okay. But yeah, I'm not going to offer that on the form. Fair enough. But yeah, that's huge. Zerk, Zerk and Mocha it, get, it gets confusing. Oh my God. Yeah, no, no, you, you, you got to keep your life simple, right? <laughs> we're, we're offering different finishes and stuff. Uh, we have a, a cool machine line pattern that I believe Nick was the first one to do it on spinners, but it's the, the Cote de Genève style Cote machine de, line. Cote de Genève. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. God. I think I would I say, um, <laughs> I think I would say that it's kind of similar to what, uh, Nick has done on the, the That's W mm -hmm. yep. and that is, and was, is by far like my favorite machine finish on a spinner. So these lines, like I could mm -hmm. actually, the last run we did of the Nectar's, um, stainless steel and copper. He did those machine lines yeah. and people really like oh it's absolutely to, to die included. for and if i can point out the 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 precision of nick here for a second so it's kind of really hard to see but what i look at when i see this i go look at this look at how this tiny little bit of this line like that's the start Let's see if i can get on the camera that's the start of the next run of this like pass of the the blade that little teeny nick right there yeah. is the same yeah. dimension as that little one right there. That's how precise mm -hmm. he is. And that's the kind of detail yeah. that he is paying attention to. And that's the kind of stuff that I see when I'm playing with this spinner and I go, holy shit, this is like, this is lined up stuff. Like he is, he's thinking, he is absolutely a master machinist. Extremely dialed in. Extremely yes. dialed in. Extremely dialed in. Yes. We're Second just, we, we cannot fluff up nick mckenty's feathers enough at all <laughs> so if i can move on i am i got the big nest the... yeah awesome oh pam L. I was just telling zachary before we went live about that oh yeah okay so you so it's the same pam that you're thinking of i was talking he was talking about letting mm -hmm, people letting people know about um about his email and then i was talking about pam and now she needs emails. And then he was like, I think I remember Pam. I think that I got a big nest to her. So there we go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Love my big nest. Uh, yeah. So if we keep going. Of course, this was another one of the fidgets of my week was um, was the slim pillar. Right now, I just have some, uh, some LIC EDC Mame 2.0 buttons on it, which are absolutely wonderful. This is quite... This is quite a good spinner for different kind of buttons. It's it's been amazing. Um, the machine finish is absolutely banging. Uh, Sam, uh, what am I trying to say? That's you, Samuel. Um, Osman, Osman Salmanoff, the uh, creator owner of the Two EDC group. I mean, <laughs> okay, clean EDC, clean EDC, clean EDC. <laughs> your Two EDC. Uh, he is being very smart, I think, because uh, he's. He's not giving anyone a date and it's good. You know, he's just waiting until he has them in hand and he's able to say, mm -hmm. here we go. Let's start shipping them out. So people want to know, everyone's asking and he's saying soon guys, I promise soon I will let you know, but it's very smart that he's not telling everyone, oh, it's going to be this time. So he doesn't break any promises. So I think that's really, really smart of him. And I think you should keep that up for sure. But this is one I can't keep this one. I'm pretty pissed off about that. If I'm being honest have to send it back to him. Uh, this is the second one he's spinner he sent me where I've gotten pretty pissed off where I have to send it back because he sent me the SP1 in tungsten. That thing, I think about it uh, probably every other day and uh, wish that I could still have it back. But um, yeah, oh well, here we go. He just, he just loves teasing me, you know? So here we go. But uh, get in on this. So get, yeah, to the, get to the clean definitely EDC. Definitely my favorite pillar design. Oh, no, absolutely. It's so... It's it's the same and so simple and new. It's 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 as, it's as if it's like it's like if the old pillar was the old Volkswagen bug, and then they just made the new Volkswagen mm -hmm. bug. It's like it looks the same. 
but it's different. And it's like, it's, it's that kind of thing, right? It was just a great, great redesign in that sense. So I have been messing with those this. Those buttons are perfect on it. They are. They really are, man. Like. I love how they curve on the underside. Oh, I know. So you can get your Jamie just nailed the design with that. And of course, I believe Nick machined these ones as well. And it's, it's, it's just perfect now. Like how that matches up all the curves and the lines match up with the curves and the lines of the, of the, uh, Goldie, the Goldie edamame one that he made. And it's just, yeah, no, it's really, uh, really peaked there. So I've been having a lot of fun with that, but try not to have too much fun. It's not mine. So I'm keeping it, you know, a lot of time of its special little case here, but I am looking forward to later in the stream because we are going to be opening the, uh, Mokume tea time buttons that I was able to snag from Jamie and I can't Ooh. wait to put those on there because Jamie was teasing all these photos about him putting those on his, on that one when he had it and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so that has been a third one of my fidgets of the week. Jay Dizzy. Thank Jay, you. Jay Dizzy. What's he saying? <laughs> and uh, have any W planned? Yes. Oh yes. I have some tungsten in the works at the moment. Perfect. Quite a bit. I think it'll satisfy the demand. As far as, you know, what the polls uh, put on Facebook. Yeah. Because so. you put that one out um, yeah. asking if you were like, I think I think you were mentioning, you know, it was uh, people, you were getting all these PMs about the, the OGW triangle. And you were like, so people are really asking me about this <laughs> WMO triangle. And I think I have to do something about it. And then you were like, put up a poll. You're like, mm -hmm. so if we did a pre-order and then it was like, sure enough, you're like, holy shit. Okay. Yes. Got it. People want it. We got to do it. Right. Yeah. Excellent. So OG triangles, we're going to have those, um, in tungsten, hopefully in the next couple months, but you never know. Excellent. It takes a long time to produce tungsten. So yes, we'll it see. sure does. Hopefully it sure does. Later. Yeah. You've been kind of like, if I can say so myself, you've kind of like, what do you call it? Like spin maxing lately. You know, with your spinners. You what do you know? mean? Uh, well, you know, people they say that like, oh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm protein maxing right now, or like, you know, this kind of stuff. You've been sort of spin maxing, you know, if I can, if I can put it lightly, because you hit, you hit so hard with the big triangle, and then so hard with the nectar and the nectar mm -hmm. plus and stuff like that. It's, uh, yeah, it's good. Can't wait to see where else this goes. I just want to make sure that they're out there in all the materials possible. Yes. Right now. now the zerk is needed. Yeah. Uh, and then last but not least, if I can be, if I can, you know, drag this on for this week a little bit more because I have to, because my titanium, my new titanium wrap light, uh, specifically with these, uh, new inserts by Timo, Timothy, Timo Tai, his link is in the description of the video, uh, or it should be, and you can PM him and you can order these for your, any wrapped light, any wrapped light that you have. And I highly, highly, highly recommend them. They're very, very cool. I will take a moment, though, to sort of explain the mistake that I made in the last video where I opened it up and I kind of messed up what was going on with it. So what he tried to do, he tried to be very clear and he tried to ship them to me all like this in this orientation and show me that that's how it goes together, Zach. You're supposed to take it and you're supposed to put it down on the plate and then you're supposed to put it back like this. And I went and was listening to Ali Am and I'll talk about a story and I put it down the wrong way and it still sort of works if you put it like this, but it doesn't really quite link up then in there as well because of this little lip here. You're supposed to have this part go into that. So... I didn't want any confusion on that. I didn't want people to start following how I was doing it in that sense. So if you do have some of these or if you're planning on getting them, make sure that you, you know, pay attention just to that little detail about how they go together. That also being said, there are actually two different kinds that he sent me that I forgot to talk about. So this kind is actually orientated differently than the kind that is in here. So might be a little bit you guys will get it when I show you I tried to try to prepare things a little bit better this time so this one I have it set up in hybrid and the other cool thing is that he has these rings that you can put into any of these spots 
and putting a ring in then makes it a space for a medium magnet. So you only need two and you can make every configuration that you want for the wrapped, right? It's very innovative that way. But the ones that I have in here, these have the same magnet spacing as a three click, regular three click, click wrapped insert, right? But he also noticed, it was, very, it was very good to notice that the three click, the three click wrapped inserts, they do not have the exact same magnet spacing. If you can see that, if you try to line that up, this magnet spacing here, it's slightly more out like that. So that's why he's included this one as well, because this one, matches up to the three click spacing. So what does that mean? To me, that means that it's, uh, it's not equidistant spacing. You don't actually have the same spacing horizontally as you do vertically from spot to spot. So what it means is that you're wrapped when it you know moves to the side, it's going to be further out and you're not gonna be able to do going to go further out like that and you're not going to be able to do moves like this where you go down like that it's going to keep skipping so personally i don't like the one that's not equidistant i i think we should you know kind of do away with that or if you like it you can because this one you can make into a two click or a three click right you can just put magnet in there and do that in the middle part there, or you can put one there, one there, one there, one there, and you can make a three click. But the problem with that is that you're ending up getting these like three clicks where it's not equidistant, it's equidistant spacing. And then, um, yeah, it doesn't quite work as well. So sorry to ramble. I, uh, I had to mention that because, uh, I kind of messed that up in the, the last one there. So let's put this back together and, uh, yeah, that's, uh, kind of my fidgets of the week. What were you playing with this week, Samuel? Also, ah, the wrapped. You were also playing with it. Titanium okay. with aluminum inserts. And you hadn't seen this I yet. another one with brass. Oh, you got the brass on. See, and, I uh, couldn't do it, man. I didn't yeah. want it to be any heavier than it was with stainless steel because it was up around 70 grams with stainless steel. And I was like, yeah, man. I prefer the lighter one. Yeah. But the brass is actually really nice i didn't spend enough time with it um, but i'm gonna keep it i really like it a lot nice but definitely nice. if i had to pick one it'd be the aluminum inserts i just love this design so much it it is great I isn't think it the stamped plate is incredible it's so smooth it is so smooth it's 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 like and nothing i've ever felt i've never felt it before it's yeah. unbelievable the haptics like would you agree with me that the haptics and the slide function of the wrapped light plates are even better than the wrap v2 in its own way in certain ways like it, it has elements that you cannot get in a v2 slide experience wrap v2 for me that's that's true yeah 100%. i i don't mind hot spots you know i never thought this felt sharp in any way um but you know for some people, they don't like it, um, or they don't like the the plates. I guess maybe they're sharp or something. But I've never had any problem with it. Um, I like the way it feels in my hand, and you like that. Uh, you like that grittiness, just, that like, it's harder. Yeah, right? it's it's amazing. Yeah, for me, it kind of depends. Yeah, it just feels good. It kind of depends how hard I've been working at work, you know, because I work with my hands every mm -hmm. day. So if I'm having like you know a hard work day, and I come back and I put like you know wrap light without any of those inserts and stuff. I'm kind of like, oh, ow, ow. I just want an easy, yeah. I want an easy day now, <laughs> an easy experience. This is hard now. <laughs> I guess it depends on how much you use them too, you know? I mean, I probably use it 30 minutes or an hour in a day, depending on what I'm doing. Yeah. But um, some people will use it all day at work, you know? Yeah, for eight absolutely. Hours eight or however long. And for me, I could see how that could start to on you for me mine was mine was every single day for every dog walk because i'll come home every day 
and my dog immediately wants to go uh, for like the five minute walk down to the beach down the road. And then she wants to go sit at the beach and eat as many sticks as she can until she gets bored. I don't know what the, f- I don't know what the fuck it is. She wants to literally eat sticks. And I'm like, you know what? Fine, whatever. If that makes you happy, I'll sit down here and, you know, do my like, you know, phone business and like, you know, catch up on emails. You eat sticks and I'll sit here. And I always had my rap, my rap, rap light, this new titanium one. It was like every single day brought it down. Love it. So good. So good. Arnie Horta. That's uh, a good point. He says they're a little, little older. What's that? Right, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying Arnie Horner kind of made a good point there in chat. Um, the wrap light plates are thicker, he finds. So the magnet strength is toned down a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Could be. Yeah. It yeah, could I be. was using the, the stainless steel wrap light um, alongside the WCU, Jeremy's WCU, yeah. when we had a meetup yeah. um, a little while ago. And the weight was comparable. In the field, it wasn't too different because his plates were very broken in yes as you would know yes um yeah but yeah it was uh pretty amazing how much the wrap light stimulates and you know satisfies like the very expensive ones no I, i like to say that it uh it has it has all of the all of the function and the haptics that you come to modus works for and the and just less of the aesthetic appeal, right? That less of that customized, oh my God, gorgeous piece of jewelry that's in my pocket sort of thing, right? I love the aesthetic. Yeah. I will say that. I love it. But, you know, I like Sabinza's. I like plain, you know, uh, lines, you know, nothing too fancy. Uh, minimalist. Yes. yes. Lines. And for me, you know, that's got an industrial look that is just so hard to replicate. In my opinion, you would love Scandinavia. You probably love like going to IKEA. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be going there in like a very short time. Oh, nice, nice. I'll post yeah. some pictures. <laughs> no, it's a good place. That. It's a good place. I would recommend. Yeah, I got a trip planned. I'm going. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Um. So yeah, what should we do? Because I, I, ha- I was so organized. I had it all laid out here. Oh, I was gonna shout out this one here. This is something I've been carrying. Sorry. Oh, there you go. It's the uh, Asylum 3.0. I never tried one. Love it. Is it's that- got a thick slab side, and it takes buttons for a... Uh... Sorry, this is kind of weird. Um, retention spinner. Oh. But it's an R188 press fit. I'll take the buttons off and show you. But it's recessed in the body. You can see that. Oh, I can see that. Oh, it's got a chamfer all the way around. Yep. Interesting. I, I really love the spinner. It's it's kind of somewhere between the Judder and the Gyro. It's like that flutter, kind of like what you would get with the Ziggy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So I've been really, really enjoying this one lately. I have never seen love the sharp lines and like what what was the what was the basis of Nick thinking about that? To, like to have a press fit spinner style, but well, then to have it have to take those. The, like what well, it's so weird that's like this uh, such a weird hybrid Originally, idea it was well it was a 608 spinner first this oh. model so he just made it into an r188 oh so it has the same thickness as a 608 oh bearing, which is like the the old school skate bearing gotcha so he just changed the borehole early on and mm-hmm. and did that oh that's crazy uh, he actually has a jig too Matt Ridd, like thank you jig that you can put underneath the the spinner when you're installing the, the bearing it's flush. Pretty cool. Hey, howdy, Steve that. Klein. And uh, Matt Ritter's here. Matt Ritter's here, Samuel. Oh, cool. He answered the question yep. there. 608, 608 thickness. thickness. There it. you go. Yeah. He mm-hmm. would know, too. He's uh, really old. Been around for a long time. Just kidding, man. Probably not old. Oh, yeah. Probably yeah. my age. Well, <laughs> been around a long time. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Been an in, OG. Been in the I scene. Say. OG guy probably knows who hobby timmy is <laughs> <laughs> i'm just learning who hobby timmy is actually from oh. pam actually told me about hobby timmy because we were talking about uh bearings and cleaning them and maintaining them and she was telling me go talk was it old man tim or something like that they used to st- yeah, oh it's old man tim now yeah i think okay. he changed it um i think he started like streaming video games or something oh, okay 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 but, uh he was yeah. the fidget 
reviewer, just tons of enthusiasm. Yeah. I kind of think that he passed the baton to you. Oh, well, yeah. I've never, we've never met, but maybe in spirit. Maybe I, I took no, it in on spirit. in a dream one yeah. time. We psychically that's how I feel about it. connected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Catherine, you want to see my collection? Oh, the whole thing. Well, I really even consider myself a collector. Oh, like, shut up. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an experiencer. I like to Oh, yeah. So okay. I'll have, you know, if I'm looking at knives or whatever or anything EDC, I want to know what it's like. That was um, the other thing I was going to ask. You were mentioning you know, if before. I don't know with it, I'll just move it on. Do you, do you collect other things besides spinners that are EDC world? Yep. Um, yes. Uh, a lot of Peter Atwood tools. Like, here's one of them. This is a ruler that I keep on my desk. Oh, neat. With one of my beads on it, the keg bead. Pry, wood, pry bar ruler um, hex. It's actually a spinner too. It has a spinner core. So that three eighths. Oh, uh, wow. Very difficult. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's a three eighths uh, of an inch hole in the middle. And you can use Scott um, Coscree, the torque bar maker's um, little bearing uh, spin core. I think I've seen these before. There. I think I've seen these before when mm -hmm. I was researching Scott and researching his history. That's crazy. Yeah. I remember yeah. there was something like that. Flashlights. Oh, yes. This is what I've been carrying this week. The yeah. DCO from Jeff Sapp in Colorado. Um, pry bars. Always got a pry bar on me. Zach Wood there. Um, also have my own that I carry that I made. You'll never get stuck between mm -hmm. a rock and a hard place because you always have a pry bar to get yourself out. Yeah. I, I, mean, I put mine through a lot. And it, it's great. My wife loves it too because she doesn't like using knives to open boxes. She's like, "Where's your pry bar?" So just right, you know, yeah. open up Amazon or whatever. Yeah, that's such a good idea. Uh, the number of time I've slashed something inside and gone, "Fuck!" I should have used. <laughs> this is the pin I've been using. It's from Tactile Turn in Dallas. I have them bookmarked. Uh, it's a smooth operator, and I think it's around like ninety dollars or something. It is worth every penny. Really. This is an incredible machine. I'm yeah, going to get one so then. so smooth. I the have... pocket clip is deep, and you can actually get, it's modular. You can get a shorter tip for like a G, uh, G2 refill. Really? Um, and then there's a longer tip. I think it's for like the Parker refill. And then this one is, I don't know what this refill is called, but it's like a really thin tip refill. Uh, but very cool pin. I think, and, I think you know, those are the ones go, it's pretty affordable. I think those are the ones that I had bookmarked because I'm pretty sure it's them because I I'm weird. I swing a hammer with my right hand, I bat with my right hand, I golf right handed, I write left handed. It's so fucked up. So what I saw on their website that they have one that's specially designed with like the way the the uh what would you call it, the little uh, bolt, action bolt action thing is the, is the designed yeah. for left-handed people so i was like oh thank you it's kind of like when i start up a, vi a video game and it has a uh, it has colorblind mode and i'm like oh you recognize my disability thank you, <laughs> you know, and it would be like great yeah. actuating this one with my left hand too if there's only one of these you'll have no problem okay yeah if you don't make a left hand version this will work just fine for you excellent my left hand no it's good to actually have a real review yeah. of it because I, I i wondered if i should pull the trigger on that yeah, it's called the smooth operator. Smooth operator. Then, uh, highly recommend that. Yeah, Pam, you I know, can actually, I can put uh, uh, I can put it up at some point. You know what? I'll put it up in the I'll put it up in the um, what am I trying to say? The uh, description later. I know which one it is, and I'll go. I'll remember to put it up in the uh, video description after. But yeah, I know what he's talking that about. Spin stick that you had this morning or this morning um, earlier on in the show. Yeah. Um, Oh, actually, it kind of reminds me of the old uh, L Holter spin caps. Have you ever seen those? I don't know. They were like from 2017, 2018. I was doing so many different things then. I didn't even know that you guys existed. Yeah. But they're, uh, it's basically a pin with a cap on it that spins oh. pretty much exactly like that. Okay. It's a lot smaller and probably not as satisfying, but yeah. Um, yeah. Pretty cool, though. No, this has been satisfying as hell. Love it. Yeah. Uh, this is the knife I've been carrying. The Hero Stellar. It's a buyer's market for these. So. Oh, yeah? 
join some Facebook groups, you can get a nice discount. Nice. Uh, but they definitely make the best production my, knives, in my opinion. Really? I have avoided going down the knife rabbit hole because I can tell that just from seeing some of people's collections, and I have found myself like just sort of waking up after blacking out and just being on like a knife website, like looking through all these pictures and being like, oh my God, how long have I been here? What's, what's been going on? Right. You're like, I should get out. I should get away from here. Right. Like it just, it just tells me, oh my God, I could get into this maybe a little bit too much mm -hmm. and it would be, it'd be kind of like a problem sort of thing because it, it kind of like, I, I didn't think that I would like beads because I thought, oh, they don't really do anything. And my whole thing with knives is like, okay, it's a knife. You open it up and you close it and it cuts stuff, right? But then fidgets really attract me because it's like, oh, this does this does something else and this does something else and this does something else, right? But I feel like with the beads, mm -hmm. now I'm starting to get onto this whole like, oh, it's so pretty in this way and it's so pretty in this way. And I feel like knives could suck me in like that along with all of my money. So, yeah. Yeah. Box cutters are the same way. You have a bob, don't you? Yes. Those are sweet. Love my bob. Love my bob. Bob. Everyone get a bob. majority the other day. Yeah. Everyone get a bob box cutter. I guess cutter. they removed them from the website, but you can still talk to him and, and pick one up. Really? Oh. Which is cool. I, and then, yeah. I don't know if it's a Canadian thing or what, but... Um, <sighs> and they also have uh, authorized dealers in the U.S. as well. Like Recon One carries them. I think um, Urban EDC... Supply I hate Canada for their whole knife well. thing so much. I hate it so much. It's like, are you absolutely kidding me? This is a tool. This is like literally just, it's not even a a, a flip switch knife or anything like that. I don't see how anyone could. Mm -hmm. It's so ridiculous. It's a goddamn utility knife tool, right? Like, are they going to tell me that I can't carry around my X-Acto blade at work anymore to like, you know, cut open packaging and stuff like that? It's just like, come on, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good for you, Pam. Perfect. It was Cerakoted one. Excellent. Oh, nice. That's great. Yeah, they have some really pretty anodized versions on Urban EDC Supply. Do they? So, mm -hmm. and I think they're the they they hey Japanese. Uh, oh, pattern. um, Wi-Fi pattern. Yes, exactly. That's right. Wi-Fi pattern. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we call it here, a Wi-Fi pattern. I love that pattern. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Wi-Fi. <laughs> so we can segue if you're feeling good about it. Oh yeah. Let's I wanted to talk about the other thing that I neglected <clears throat> um like two weeks ago now, is that uh Jeremy Campbell was on and we got so excited hanging out and everything like that, that I totally forgot to open his, um, his brass turbo cup kind of thing. So I wanted to let everyone know that it fling, it fling really damn good. It does have what you think to feel is like a bit of a hot spot more on the edge, but it's not one that like you only feel it as you're ripping and you're, and you're pressing, right? Cause that is, mm -hmm. it's a bit sharp, but I guess what really counts to me as a hot spot is something that kind of ends up catching more of this part of your finger on the follow through so that you end up kind of feeling that mm -hmm. afterwards. But this one, I find that it's, I don't know, it's, if you be gentle with it and stuff, it just, it does have a really good grip on it. And it just yeah. I don't think that would bother me at all. No, you you you, you like the hot spots. I probably huh? would like the yeah. You'd yeah, like the the, ther like the therapeutic hurt. You'd be like, I, I played with one and uh, it was like the 3D printed uh, tungsten putty. I think was in it or something. It oh, made really? it a little heavier. Wow. And it was really nice. Yeah. And we gave away. Um, Does that have a, a ton of judder? That spinner. Yes. Yes, I would say because so. It has that thin body. Yes. Absolutely. Is that just the bearing popping out or is there like a bearing well? That he has made out? it um, very similar to the W or an OG torque bar where you have an extra yes. bit, right? So you can make the body thinner. Yeah, that'll definitely increase the judder. Yeah, absolutely. Which I feel like most people, when it comes to bars, like 
there's, you know, most people love heavy Jutter bars. And then when it comes to tries, heavy gyro. App, 100%. And that's one of the reasons that, you know, my favorite triangle, tri spinner is the triangle that you make just because I've, I haven't found one in tungsten at least that doesn't, it has a gyro like that. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. So yeah. these aren't his buttons. You know, it's a little larger and that helps too. Absolutely. Who, whose buttons are those? Uh, 2R designs. It looks like it's uh, just some 2R design ones. Same ones you would get on something like, so that's brass. And then he's put some yeah, black, nice. he's put some black Alton ones on there. They work fantastically. I just don't know yet what his, um, his design would be to match it. But yeah, I just want to let everyone know about the turbo cup and yeah, that it's uh it's pretty banging. So I think I got to send this back to him. So I think my wife had a t-shirt with B stuff on it that she wanted me to send back with it. So it's <laughs> a good excuse. Yeah. So yeah, I felt like an asshole hey, afterwards. Um, I was like, Oh, Jeremy, no. And he's like, what? We're still like on the discord cord call after the, Stream like oh, we forgot about the turbo cup. <laughs> I was like sitting there in a bag. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. Oh well. But here we are now. It is he asked um, if the current pre-orders will come with the eight ball bearings, the new eight balls that we oh. have. I think they're called the side pockets. Yes. Um, we actually sold out of those uh, the test pieces that we had naturally, um, and they were all amazing. <laughs> really, really nice. Uh, but we also have some tin ball ribbon style, which is something we haven't done before either. Oh. Um, and they are a little looser than the crown retainers that we put in, like, for example, the Mokume uh, triangles and like a lot of previous spinners, super high quality, just a little tighter tolerance. Um, they're a little looser than that, but they're not quite as loose as the eight balls. And eventually we will put the eight balls in everything. But um, I think I've got few to get uh, through on the tin balls first. Excellent. I don't want to say exact numbers, but <laughs> well, I have a few of those. That's gotten me all excited about <clears throat> the bearing in the Mokume spinner. Should we open? Should we? Should we open it? Yeah, go for it. I I believe it's a uh, a crown crown retainer VRO two bearing tin ball, crown which retainer. is going to be a little tight. But of course, you can take it out. You can put in the loose one or Thank you. whatever you want. Thank you. All subjective. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer a loose bearing personally, but um, in my experience, I, you know, dealing with a lot of people who buy fidgets and stuff, they they tend to like the tighter tolerance bearings. Interesting. Because what, what was in, you mentioned it, you had like, um, I think you had what you might call like a go fast in the, the copper nectar when you sent it to me. And then you sent uh -huh. me a message. You said, interested to see how you feel about it if you get like an operator in there or something like that, that has a little bit of a looser. Something a little looser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I think I sent you a message because and I my, said. my copper, I don't know if you can hear that. Is that picking up? On no, it won't pick up unless it's Maybe. like, yeah. It's it's Maybe there. my journey of trying to pick up what fidgets sound like on mics is ridiculous. It's so hard to do it. This has an eight ball in it, the, the one of those side pockets. Yeah. And the judder is amplified. Substantially. Yeah. So, um, I'll okay. definitely send along some of those. And, I'm uh, yeah, I'm going to have to buy like some them. of those for sure. It's going to be great. Um, oh, Jay Dizzy just said, uh, had a little comment there that actually kind of links into one of the questions that I had for uh, Sam is you naming sure. your spinners and how you name your products and how mm -hmm. I've, <laughs> I think I've like, had a lot of fun talking about it in some of my videos, especially with like, you know, the Ziggy and stuff and how we can all tell you're a Bowie fan and, and that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Right. So. Yeah. I was definitely going through a phase at the time of, you know, creating the Ziggy because I named the spinner Bowie, right? The full size one was the Bowie, which we never released. And then I did the mini one and called it the Ziggy. That blows my mind that there was a bigger one than that. And it scares me if it was ever in yeah. tungsten. I, I did have a prototype made of it, and it was it was ridiculous. It was <laughs> Even in steel or brass, it probably would have been like four hundred grams. Oh my god, that's <laughs> yeah. thick yeah. boy, as I, I said. <laughs> Very thick yeah, boy. I think that would work well on one of those uh, 
septers or you know the oh the yeah good point the thing i've noticed about septers is that, is that if it's not if it's not round or like a quad or something you can spend too much time trying to get a hold of one of the arms mm -hmm. because by the way everyone you can just take any spinner you have that accompanies at least a button that is that big and can fit that mm -hmm. in there and you can put any of your freaking spinners on the ends of this thing right it's just that yeah. it's harder it's harder to actually do it because if you have a, a a you know a bar spinner on there you're sitting there trying to get your finger on the tip of it be like no no wait come back no right there okay and right there and spin right and you go and you can like mm -hmm. okay now we're going otherwise you end up getting in between it and you're like ah oh, fuck fuck but that's why they they just work yeah. better with a rounder sort of easier to grab it anywhere kind of rip sort of thing so mm -hmm. hey osman hey osman you're here just in time unless you've been lurking the entire time without commenting would not surprise me uh, uh osman sup man everyone loves osman perfect okay i'm gonna get a drink here before i open up this fucking beautiful thing i hope i don't like i hope i don't scream or something like that I can feel the etching through the bag. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, there I mean, is. that's that's why you get Mokume, you know? It is. You get it for an etch and a that, polish. Sure. You just really do. Yes. Oh, my God. If Blurry. only it would focus. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> wow. It's almost like I almost have to turn the lights down. I got to like, let's go down to like two here. Oh my God. It makes me want to scream like a little girl. It really does. It's, you got the squiggle buttons too. Oh wow. I did. What does that mean? Is that but special? Most, I don't know. But most of, <laughs> most of them, I don't know if you can see this. But I can. You know mine are straight. That's the one I use. That's the picture I use for the thumbnail, huh? Yeah. Oh, I got most of them were straight, and you know, randomly. I got uh, Squiggle Mokume. Some people got, you know, very few people got the the squiggles, but I, I love it. I think it's so cool. <sighs> still shiny. That's so. I was thinking the same still thing. I was going, how is it still shiny? I guess it was just in that that plastic bag, and that was kind of enough. Plastic bag kept it protected oh it'll it'll it's gonna it's gonna get very not shiny very soon i live right by the ocean so oh man sam have really good patina then holy shit yeah speaking of good patina i think i was, sh I was showing you these earlier i definitely want to try these do a little button swap here but the ones that I'm having on your on your tungsten OG triangle, the uh, Mokume Nyamas, have mm -hmm. been developing just the greatest patina on their edges. And it doesn't rub off because you don't touch it. You're only holding it in here. So it's perfect. Mm -hmm. A lot of time the problem I have with patina metals is that I can let it patina and I can let it get looking like very dark. So that's mm -hmm. been sitting there. I haven't been using it. That's been getting very dark. But if I go and start to just spin that for a day, it'll polish. It'll just polish right up and go away. So having yeah. something where it's a button where it's the side of it like that, where I'm not touching it, you just get the best wood looking patina ever. I'm going to throw this thing on there to see what that's like. Because these Yama buttons yeah. are, are just so good for the triangle. It does not have to be, oh, I don't have speed holes. So we did it without speed holes. That's perfect. Oh. Yeah. Why would you want to remove such beautiful materials? <laughs> good point. Absolutely good point. Michael, he actually said that to me last time I saw him. M3, Michael. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> How but, dare uh, you remove yeah, such thing beautiful I love about material. So much, yeah, is you get the patina with the brass and the copper and then the nickel stays shiny. It's... Nice. Yeah. Position, if you 
Here we go. We'll do a little. A little That's little. a good combo. Sweet. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Look at my precious little triangles. So that means that my two EDC collection. Now I have had I have had the the tungsten Poe. I have had the the tungsten OG nest, the big nest, uh, the tungsten Ziggy. I've had the um. What is it? I've had a lot. Of, I've had a lot of your stuff. I've tried a lot of it. And all that has survived is, come on, where is she? Is these ones. So these ones, these designs, in my opinion, are the best. The OG triangle, the big triangle, the Nectar Plus, and the big nest. Those are like, your, those are my personal four favorites of yours. And as far as tries go, my favorite tries. Um, I thought for some reason that I was going to think that I had to replace the OG with the big one when I got it. But as as Samuel told me, he said, yeah, I find that they both have their place. They both have their place and they both have their their feel and their purpose. And I could not agree with him more. There is There is just something about both of them. And it's it's totally that kind of thing where like no I can't they they need to both be here kind of thing so yeah they're both the same thickness but since the large or the the big triangle has a larger spin diameter it feels thinner in my hand interesting yeah yeah it's almost like the uh, OG is a little chunkier but it's just you know perception because it's a smaller spin diameter but the same thickness. Isn't it isn't it pretty cool? Isn't it one of the coolest things about this hobby that it it really lends itself and it teaches you to notice subtleties. Like to notice the absolute mm -hmm. just minute little subtleties and things, right? And I find that people that don't really like the spinners and the, the fidgets and the hobbies are the people that maybe don't pick up on as many subtleties as someone else, right? And they might just be the kind of people that pick it up and they're like, Yeah, I guess that's pretty neat. So what does it do? It spins? Cool. That's great. <laughs> and they just give it back to you. They're like, that's very nice. Happy that you like that. And you're like, no, 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 no. Like, can't you, can't you, don't you feel that little, that thing in there and how it's in this? You know, they don't get it. Right. So it's like, I, I've always, I've always loved that about it. And I've always noticed that. Man. Yeah. Man. I can feel, I can feel, I swear to God, I can feel the squiggleness of the etch, like the squiggly etch. Actually, it's on this side more. I can feel it. Yeah. I can feel those squiggles. That's so cool. I'm actually probably going to have to rock them on this for a little bit. I think that's really nice. Great combo. <laughs> so clean. I like the patina on that too. Did you uh, have that like finished? This or? is not. I got this second hand and this has actually been blasted. It was... It Looks was first right. blackened by, um, I can't remember his name now. Um, I think it was Cody Debrebrand, if I'm saying his name correctly. Mm -hmm. And he had blackened it, but then before selling it, he had blasted it. And it ended up with just this absolutely great sort of, yeah, I love it. It looks amazing. It looks so good, yeah. right? And he's like, I think it's one of the only yeah. OG triangles that looks like this. So when I see other people's OG triangles, I go, oh, what's wrong with it? Because I'm so used to my own. I'm like, oh, right, right, right. That's just like, that's just like the regular shinier like machine finish kind of thing. But I just, I just love it. It's great. You must have hit it with some abrasive media because that tungsten's hard to get through. Yeah. Or I, I, I don't exactly know what he did. I was just, I just know that I put an ISO out and I was very fortunate to get him coming back with that. And yeah. Oh man, this is, this is. This is so gorgeous. I can't wait to get out there and warp that. Can't do it today because it's fucking raining. But those buttons look incredible. They really do. Props to Jared. Yeah. Yes, that was my drag queen voice, uh, Abigail. Thank you. Yes. Those are Jared's buttons, aren't they? Yes. Yes, Jared Rural. Uh, sacred. Yeah. Uh, sacred spins. Uh, as I've said before, uh, cannot recommend. 
the Nyama buttons uh, more. I now have the Smokame, I have the Amber Altum, and I have the Juma Gem in the green. And I would still take the Mokame in a Blasted, 100%. And I'd still love to take one of the purple Juma Gems. There's only three of them out there, so I'm not, not counting on that. But if anyone, you know, wants to get rid of them, please talk to me. Talk to me. PM me. So, yeah. Man, it's been a long time. It's been sitting there for a long time. I don't know how I do that. I don't know how I just let it sit there. But um, that's very exciting. I love Sundays. I get new toys. It's like new toy Sunday, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh God, I'm getting new toys. So good. You exercise a lot of restraint. I'll tell you that. I, yeah, man. Like I wasn't able to do it before. I, I couldn't do it before because it was just all so new and, and shiny and wonderful. And then I guess I just realized I just loved doing it with everyone else. And it just was like, it gave, it's, I guess it's kind of like if you have kids and you know, you, you you play Santa Claus and you get, you get everything all, you know, good and ready for them. I haven't really experienced that myself because I never like had a young kid and kind of anything like that. My my kids, my step kid, I met him when I was like eight or he when he was eight. But um, my sister always says she'll like she'll get the presents ready for her kids. She's like, yeah, no. She's like, that's the best part. She's like, it's not buying the gifts or anything like that. She's like, literally that part where you've fooled them, where you've tricked them, and you've you've created this fantastical lie. That where they're living in this magical land, she's like, that is the best part, and I think that sort of lends to like just opening these these things with everyone else is just like it's uh yeah it's like kind of a pleasure for me as well. So I kind of am able to have that restraint and sit there and kind of put my focus in during the week into like what I'm gonna do for the live and then what I already have and like focusing on those things and yeah just somehow putting it in putting in a tub up there and just just leaving it kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah. Carrying these things, it's, you know, one of the reasons why we, we do it. Yeah. Okay. Share the joy. So, how, where, where does the name 2EDC come from? Because I've been meaning uh, to ask you that. Sorry, I, you know, ever. I used to have your job. <laughs> oh, really, Carpenter. I used to do reviews on. What the on, hell? Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. Sorry. She's throwing okay? things at me. <laughs> oh sort of healthy i got a, a i got a stick. cheese string lovely lovely sorry sorry to interrupt you there sam oh no it's all good i, yeah, I used yes, to do yes like, honey sorry she's reviews. interrupting again sorry yes yes honey do you have <laughs> well you were standing there with your mouth open like you were about to say something <laughs> i was just i was reveling in my victory of surprising me. Yes, that's all. Because that's been Just hard to do. Sorry he interrupted you again, Sam. He's so rude. I'm I'm rude. Rude. Good morning with the spin rude, fam. Rude, that's rude. right, Captain. <laughs> hey, Javier. I'm liberal. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> What's up? Who said what? Drive by the spin fam? Christmas morning with the spin fam. <laughs> All right, kids, gather around. Yeah, I, I used to do uh, YouTube reviews on spinners. Oh, okay. And uh, the name was Two Sons. And it, it came from like an old handle on uh, like a Star Wars card game web. Thing. I don't know. I liked Star Wars when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, I still like Star Wars. And, uh, the uh, binary sunset scene. In a new hope yes it always hit me hard you know yeah. with that john williams score yeah uh, and so I, that was my screen name two sons and then i used that on youtube just i didn't think you know i was gonna like grow a channel or anything so i just put that on there and then i found out there was a knife maker named two sons so i dropped the sons yeah i went to a two edc <laughs> perfect it became two yeah <laughs> that's so cool i'm glad, so glad i asked you because it's like it's one of those names where you'd be like no one's ever going to know that or guess that. It's like, it's just, you know, it's a different, uh, it's got a little story to it. I love that kind of stuff. Yeah, whatever's going on in my life is kind of what, you know, where the names come from. Any inspiration, it's just like whatever's going on or, you know, something means something to me at that moment in time. That's where I get my names from. Helps me remember those things. Yeah, right. It's kind of like tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> 
much. <laughs> I don't know how many tattoos though. I only have one. I only have one oh, tattoo. I did it so I could experience having a tattoo, and then yeah, I was cool. like, "God damn, these are expensive." And then I was like, "You know what? Yeah. I think I'll just buy really expensive fidget toys instead." <laughs> so, yeah. So Mocha May Mocha May themed keep keep going. I kind of want to open the tea time buttons, the Mocha May tea time buttons from Jamie from LICEDC. And then we get to look at some old spinners. And I thought it was good that Samuel's here because he knows of older spinners because we have, um, yes, honey, you have so many tattoos. He does. Um, Because then we get to look at old spinners that uh, Mike Neal, if anyone remembers an older stream, uh, Mike Neal sent me uh, a couple of binary fusions, sent me... uh, the tungsten copper binary fusion and the stainless steel binary fusion. Because Mike Neal has a closet full of some of like the most pristine older spinners that I've seen. He sent me these pictures and it's like, oh my God. He's like, yeah, I just, you know, I kind of ordered them back in the day and I spun them a couple times and then I just sort of put them away. And he's like, and, and getting onto my channel and seeing me and getting onto the lives and talking about me, he was like, you know what? You just reminded me that I had all these these spinners back here. You know, I'm going to have to go dig some of them out. And I'm like, oh, my God. So he started saying, he's like, you know what I'll do? I'll just start shipping you a few of these, like, older spinners. And you can put them on the channel. And he lives in Ontario and Canada, too. So it's perfect. So we're going to look at uh, four awesome. that he, um, he shipped after Tea Time Button. Now, here's where the pry bar would come in hand. Well, maybe not because it's plastic, but I'm always so scared of I mean, like... They're pretty sharp. They're sharp enough. You can... Yeah. Well, I have right this through. like little stupid thing, but I don't know. I'll try. No. <laughs> Are you afraid to use the bob? Huh? Well, yeah. You know, I'd have to be so careful to not like... I'll just like... I'll go like that and then that should be enough. Then Get I can, it started. Yeah. Then I can rip it. There we go. Oh, God. So ever since Drake... Oh, he started vacuum sealing it. Very fancy, Jamie. Very fancy. I think it's my first vacuum sealed one. That's a good way to one. avoid patina. Exactly. Holy crap. Look at how shiny those are still. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So Drake, Drake's buttons with, like, my Venusaur buttons that he made me and stuff really started getting me into this deep dish thing. And then I was able to get some of the, oh, God. Oh, wow. Okay, let's get some stuff out of here. Oh, God. Well, yes, Catherine. That's why it's called Mocha May Madness. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. I love that topographical. Right? Mm -hmm. I love the way it comes out on the the bottom sometimes even more than... Than the top. Oh my god, it is so freaking bright. Wow. And I believe how long do you think that'll last? Maybe a couple days, less. I don't know. Yep. That's the thing that's different. I noticed I don't know how the, the cut pattern managed to be different on the nyamas, but the fact that they have this, these have the same rounded edge, but it looks more, mm-hmm. it's it's that you're getting the, the layered thing. So that won't patina in the same way. They cut it differently. So you got the rounder. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm not saying it very well, but it's like, it's just a different cut. It's different on the edges. Yeah, I think it's just a different um, technique, forge technique. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. And I want to put these directly onto, I want to try these on the slim pillar. Yeah, those buttons are incredible for script. Oh my God. It's like, and you know what I find is that I'm like you, we've had conversations before where you say, you've said, um, I, I find it, I find it po- impossible kind of to get the same kind of rips with a pinch grip 
than I can with a flat grip. Mm -hmm. But I, I personally, I really do enjoy holding a spinner when it's ripping in a pinch grip. So what I find myself <laughs> doing, oh my God, that looks so fucking good. It looks just like Jamie's photos. So what I find myself doing is I always find myself holding in a flat grip. And then while it's like ripping, I will like, I'll like change over to a pinch grip and kind of enjoy the gyro in that. And then I'll stop it. Yes. And I'll go back to a flat grip and then I'll transfer over to that pinch grip. Oh God, that's exactly what I thought it was going to be like. That's so great. I love that. Yeah. I'll do that same thing. I really like the sensation of pinching it, but um, to get a good rip, I usually do a flat grip or like a hybrid where my yeah. thumb is flat and my index is, is a pinch. Then I'll move it around, you know, full pinch grip or whatever. Anything, yeah. There we go. Whatever Hand bones are the same. Start flat and move to pinch. Yeah. That's a sentence that someone only in, you know, the EDC spinner wheel would understand. Yeah, I like to start flat and then move to a pinch. <laughs> Most people yeah. in the room, mm hmm. Yes. And then two people in the room, what the fuck is he talking about? What do you got there? Oh, you were just showing that. Oh, it's, yeah. Just uh, playing with it a little bit, like uh, starting with a flat grip and then moving it into a move to the pinch. Grip. That's a t-shirt. Yes. That's a t-shirt. I like to start flat, move to a pinch. <laughs> then I just want to take off the... Uh, Definitely a t-shirt. I want to take off the Venusaur and I want to go uh, two EDC with two EDC. I just got to grab the right... Um, this thing keeps threading out the other way. So I'm going to grab the right... Just a, a dab of Loctite in there. There might be, yeah, but I think it yeah, just non upside. I'll just try to screw it in a little bit tighter than my hands can do. There we go. That might keep it in that side. Purple Loctite's really good for that. You can always just, you know, take it out. I don't know if you've used this much. Yes, and I have the, the I literally have the heat gun it's like right under my desk. Light. And then I can just hit it with a tiny little bit of heat. And then that just releases it right away. If it's medium, never use strong on your EDC. Only ever use medium Loctite because it will release with the right amount of heat. Just beautiful, Jamie. If you watch this later. Very, very nice. So good. I, will, I think I'm going to have to leave that like that for a little bit oh yeah i held off on the to try jamie's or jeremy's um light mommy light it was oh very nice yes i've never tried the mom i was offered the mommy light by uh by jamie first hand first off because mm -hmm. he knew that i wasn't into too too heavy so he offered it to me mm -hmm. and i i said no because i wanted to just for like reviewing purposes i wanted to like know what the like the OG OG one was when it was like intended to be and stuff. Yeah. So, but now I almost kicked myself a little bit. Not that this one is like, now this is like totally great. I'm sure that one's just as good. It's just as easy for me to handle right, now. Yeah. And I cannot get rid of it. It's just, there's, I don't use it all the time, but when I do, it's like, it's much more of like, um, I sit at the desk and, and relax, kind of focus on it. And the sound that comes out of this thing, especially with the, um, golden Eagle that I've had in here forever, that just does not seem to want to crap out. So I'm just riding it. But yeah, no, this thing is. Oh. Yeah. I'd love Mocha to see Bay. more of those out there. Mocha sure. Bay. I love Mocha May. I love Mocha May. Hey, Sophia. These are the TIT times right now. Yeah, I noticed awesome. that. Thai tea times. Yeah, so I held out on tea time for a while because for a while it was just all resin and I tried one of the resin ones and I was like, eh, I don't know. I need, I need to try a metal one. And then it just, the time was right. And I felt like, okay, here's the Mokume ones. I want to go for it. Hey, Levi, what's up? What's up? What's being given away? Hello to you too, Levi. <laughs> good, good segue. <clears throat> do we want to do a giveaway? Do a giveaway. Levi wants a giveaway. So the first one here. We don't know yet because uh, Sam has to um, Sam has to decide 
what it is. So I will get... What is all the things? What are all the things we can do? You want a D20? Uh, no, we're good. We got this one sorted out. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> good. The real Naboo. The real Naboo. <laughs> the bunny Naboo, not the spinner Naboo. The better one. The bunny I named after a fidget spinner. Oh, wow. I still have four snap cards left. Oh, that's kind of a selection today. You only get to pick one, though, Sam. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with that. So, what about what I'm giving away? Is that well? I thought we'd do that a little later if you wanted to. Okay. You think so? Good, yeah. Sam has a giveaway too, everyone. Whenever it doesn't matter. Sam has a giveaway too. His is actually matter. kind of cool. I'm not going to spill the beans, but um, yeah, it's kind of neat. It's 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 neater than I thought. And he's actually the first one that's going to be like doing a giveaway. On the other side, like usually I'm the one giving away ones here, but he's going to do his own little giveaway after. So we got two. So this is a copper infused snap cart. Uh, and then this would be the brass, I believe, or bronze, brass or bronze. Can't remember. It's cool. And then the stainless steel composite snap cart. The. Uh, Dune Boy by Fidget Boy. It's got a resin top and it's got stainless steel slide plates. Really, really quite nice. We have the, uh, oh, what's this one called again? Flip Side Boy by Fidget Boy. Pam has the bronze. Okay, so if you have the bronze, then that's, Pam won the bronze last time. So that's the, that's the brass one. Uh, so this is the Flip Side Boy also. Fidget Boy, very crunchy, whereas the Doom Boy is uh, silent. And then just a PL, PLA blue snap cart. And then the unnamed sort of, I think he was calling the Hexy or something. This is a Jared Rule sent this to me to try out and or give away. And uh, it's a resin. It's like this. Really cool kind of lime green. I kind of want to eat it. Kind of makes me think of key lime pie or something like that. Don't eat it. It's poison. It, it's poison? Okay. I won't eat it. Got it. I'll give it away instead. Red colors in the wild poison. Yeah, I won't fall into the Tide Pod. The Tide Pod thing. Eating Tide Pods. <laughs> and then, yeah. So, I don't know. It's, it's more chaotic like the uh, Focus Works uh, Drifter. But, yeah. Anyway, there we go. It's up to you. Samuel, it's up to you. Which one are we giving away right now? Levi knows what he wants. I like the look of the uh, the black like two half slider in the middle. This one? Let's do that one. Yeah. Dune Boy. Good choice. Good choice. Okay. I'll just shove those over there and go away. All right, so we're going to do the first giveaway. We're just going to do it uh, standard, uh, put your ins in, and then anyone who's a member of the Nerd Herd gets their second in in as well. Uh, yeah, so you guys can go ahead, and we will do that. And then Sam's giveaway, I believe we he's come up with something. He's come up with a different way of doing it, so we're going to do it different. Manigans. Here they come in, 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 in. I better keep track. I better keep track here. Do, 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 do. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So many. In pimping. In pimping. J Dizzy be pimping. Oh, my God. I got back top here. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Got 20 so far. 21, 22. 22. Sophia. 23. Sophia, if that's your first in, you do get a second one. I want to give my in to Cornelius. Oh, good. Mike Neal's here. Good. What's that, babe? 
You want to put an in in for Ethan's bird? Yeah, not Ethan, just for the bird. Cornelius. Just for the bird. And then my second in, because I'm part of the nerd herd, is for Abigail's cat. Seriously? Yes. <sighs> okay, I'll tack those numbers on at the end. We'll see. <laughs> That'll be funny. Okay, cool. And yes, Sophia, you got two. So 25 so far. Okay. Oh, Brian Wise. 26. And then hey, as per as per the wife's instructions when we're ending, I guess I will make the last two numbers for Ethan's bird Cornelius and Abigail Bay's cat. Which I suppose is fair. She is a member of the nerd herd. She gets two ins. So it's very kind of her. Okay, Timothy Carter. There's another one. Okay, I'm going to start saying like going white. Name's Lily. Okay, so for Cornelius and Lily, warm, I'll, I'll tack on two numbers. Okay, and then there's your second one. I'm just going to tag that comment that you made right there, Abigail, I will for the cat. Forth, henceforth, use my ins every week. Oh, God. For two, two members, pets. Every week is going to be two different pets for my ins. I like it. That's good because it's not your choice. <laughs> so I have said and so it shall be done. I was just saying I like it. Mrs. Nerd's ins. Are now for RNG group pets. Let it be known. Yes. <laughs> That's from hands forth. I decree. <laughs> All right, going once. Mm. Going twice. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. No, I'm telling you for the ins. Yeah, no, I'm doing drum rolls. Okay, yes. Okay, so it's 29 ins if we're tacking on Cornelius. Uh, no, sorry, 30. Uh, Lily. Lily. The cat is 29. Yes. So it's 30 with Cornelius. So Cornelius. <laughs> go to, I gotta bring up, uh, I'll bring up uh, random.org here. And we will go to there. <clears throat> Can you see random.org, Sam? We're all good. Sam? Are you there? Uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little pixelated. Okay, but you can. I'm, I'm on the right screen, right? Like you can see it. It's checking that way. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, sorry. Before we start, um, I forgot to ask. Like, uh, Samuel, are you? Um, which one are we going on? Which generation? Um, of number. Too appropriate. Two. Or is that? Is that not I, I say anywhere from two to five, I would say, is appropriate. Okay. Well, let's do two then. Two. Okay, here we go. So on the second one, <clears throat> that is a winner. One, two, number eight. Let me switch back here and we will uh, see what number eight was. Do, 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 do. So I got to get back to the other screen. So it wasn't a bird. It wasn't a cat. It is Jeremy Piper. Jeremy Piper with his second oh, nice. in. Congratulations. Thank God you got that second in, in, Jeremy. That's what she said. Holy shit, dude. You want a fucking dune boy. Little dune. That's pretty hot, man. Yeah, it's Jeremy. That looks really good. You are really, you are really going to like this thing. Enjoy. Anyway, Jeremy, you know how to get in touch with me. Uh, you can uh, PM me after stream or something like that. And we will talk about shipping. It's but if you're in the States, usually it just ends up being 10 bucks uh, untracked or 15 tracked, but I would double check for you if you want. Uh, yeah, that's all I need is just a little bit of shipping. Give it a good home, Jeremy. That's great. Your second in one unit. There you go. It's perfect. That's why everyone should join the nerd herd. That is why everyone should join the nerd herd. Yes. <laughs> cool. I like that. I like that the pet thing. That's cute. That's, that's really cute. Next, I've already decided next week is going to be Pam's dog and then also Nash. 
uh, uh, Pam's dog's Kermit, right? Kermit. <laughs> That's going to be a really fun name. Kermit. Kermit and Nash. Kermit and Nash. Okay, you already know all the pets more than I do. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. I got another name. The names of those pets. You guys send them to me so they can, you know, have their turn for an in. I like this. This is cute. So we send our pictures of our sweet little fur babies or feather babies or scale babies, etc. Okay. You can email all of your pictures to Zachary the Butcher at gmail.com. Do it. There we go. And like extra points if you suggest you throw in him. Love you. Oh, God. Oh yeah, no, she took over a long time ago, oh, Jordan. Yeah. She took over a long time ago, Jordan. It's uh, don't worry about that. Yeah, no, not taking over. Took over a long time ago. That's really excellent. Cool. So that one's going off, Jeremy. Love it. Uh, I'll tuck that over here. Now I'm happy that Mike Neal's here because I completely forgot to like tell him that I was doing this. I was doing all this other stuff, getting ready. Uh, but we are going to we're going to open up his uh, <clears throat> his beautiful beautiful spinners <clears throat> and we will try to figure out what they all are i am under the impression that he has sent uh three from an older company i i don't even think they make these anymore Wusa, am i saying that right woo Wusa, Wusa spinners yep so i have them here <clears throat> i'm gonna grab them here that is three of them and then he said that there was a Magnus spinner. Believe it or not, if you don't know, Magnus did make spinners or does make spinners. It's an older one of his spinners. Um, yeah. So I don't know. What we start with, Jer or with uh, what we start with here, Sam? Maybe the Wusa or I don't know. This one yeah, we can see. Usa. This one we can see. The thing. Holy, like, is this? Good Lord, Mike. So, like I was saying, Mike has these, like, has, ooh. That has an incredible stillness to it. Holy shit. Yeah, I think they use an O-ring retention system. Really? Like oh, you know what? That would make sense. The retention system. Oh, does it not? Are the buttons not screw? Yeah, they should. Unscrew. I'm probably. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's just a little tight. Pam's confirming. Yes, they do. Pam would. Pam knows. Oh my God, you're right. They do. That's like. Do you? Do you need anything? I don't have my glasses on, so I'm squinting because I can't see. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't. Don't see it all. Yeah, you can just stick a paper clip in there, or like a safety pin. You just pop out the O-ring, and then the bearing will fall out. Oh, you pull it out that way. So you would go. Oh, I get you. See, I would, I would like to use this like. I'm not going to. I believe you. I'm not going to go too crazy on someone else's spinner. But that is pretty cool. And then we've got um, dedicated threading buttons. So there's no post. There's no post in there or anything like that that you can remove. No grub screw. But that rem that it, that makes me... that Because I find you might agree with me here, um, Sam. Retention fit, for me, tends to not connect to the body as much as a press fit where it's glued and more fused to the actual um, body of the spinner. Have you ever noticed that? You get less kind of feedback. Uh, it, it dampens the feedback for sure. Yeah. And it's not like it's a bad thing. It works really well in some ways. But so that so that's what it is, Pam, huh? It's yeah, acrylic. Remember having... Pam's just saying that's acrylic in there. Some of my first spinners were uh, the Digit HQ, like Zen Duo and Zen, Zen Prize. And they use the the brass retention ring i remember getting a cork bar and just being blown away by how close your fingers were to the bearing right right 
And that's one of the things but, I absolutely uh, yeah, love. I think there's this, the we saw is kind of like a proprietary thing though. I don't think those buttons will work with like a normal um, retention spinner. Oh, okay. They might, they might, but I don't know if they do. I think one of them has like a longer standoff because of that O-ring. It's surprisingly soothing. Like, yeah, it's a very nice, easy spin. They're extremely smooth. Extremely smooth. Like I am, I am. And that's probably because of that fully shielded bearing in there as well. But Hmm. wow. Yeah. It's probably a one drop or something. Probably. Probably. Yeah. When you're speaking of, um, of pinnacle design was a Voda. You were speaking of the Voda to me yesterday. Yeah. Sam saying, yes, their buttons are dedicated. It looks similar to that. I think that's a Zaftig of some sort. And it... I bet I know who could find one. Probably Ali Aminal could probably dig one up. Seems to be able to dig up anything. Joey has one. I know Joey Betancourt has one. Yeah. Wow. I might have more than one. And it's pristine. It's like, it's absolutely pristine. Like I was saying before. Yeah, the like, machining is incredible. And Pam, Pam knows all about Wusa. Pam knows all about Wusa. This is perfect. I hate to interrupt. I have to interrupt. I was comfy. But I forgot, and this would be very unfair, for those that don't have pets, yeah, a lot because of my brain didn't even think of it. Why would someone not have all that polishing a, a little fur baby? Very, if you don't have pets, tempting. to be fair to you, Instead of sending pictures of your pets for me to put it in, you just send feet pics. Now I won't resell them, okay? You're not gonna see them on Feet Finder. <laughs> but show me your favorite shoes, all right? Is this because Matthew Scarfo sent a picture of his feet at one point or something? For the I mean, it's a, it's a funny throwback, but really it's just, I don't wanna be unfair to the non-pet having members. You make the rules. You're goddamn right I do. <laughs> Fucking liberal. <laughs> <laughs> you and your here homogenous back rooms. Oh my god. Dora. <laughs> I'm not sure I know what's going on. Doing everything so liminally like you fucking so, own the place. Sorry, Sam. Uh, the the wife's just uh she's just going off. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. I haven't really slept in a few days. <laughs> I'm saying are, I have, we, I have, are we talking about the end? Yeah, she's she's no. now saying that uh, if you don't have a pet, you can just send a picture of your feet. In your favorite shoes. In your favorite shoes. Okay. You know, cool. It has to be fair. Okay. No, it's very fair. For sure. Not everybody has a pet. Uh, and then Hambone wants to know um, extra points for our pics of our pet's feet. <gasps> oh, Hambone. She, oh, she likes that. You send me those beans. <laughs> send me those beans, Hambone. <laughs> Wants to see those toe beans. Give me those beans <laughs> with the beans. <laughs> the beans. Okay, baby, we're gonna move on from the beans. <laughs> Sears is eating something, but I don't have my glasses, so I can't see it. Yeah, that's probably her bone. I hope so. Anyway, um, beans. yeah, Jordan Padover, we taken over. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, are it's. I don't. I just. I just start this up once a week and then it just goes off basically. That's it. That's it. Yeah. You don't even have to pay for this. This is all free. All free. All free. It is like living with a gremlin sometimes. It's absolutely like living with a gremlin. (laughs) So Pam says, if you want some feedback, you need to try one of their 608 bar spinners. I would love to try some of those older ones. I would love to try some of those older ones. They're harder to find. And you can still buy all those old bearings. Yeah. Like, you really can. Like, it doesn't even... They're all still available. You can go on Amazon, buy any goddamn bearing you want. The weights are cool. Those are the huge, huge ones with the huge balls, right? Kind of thing. They're uh, skateboard bearings. Right. They're 22 millimeter in diameter. Right. And then, you know, you gotta have great feedback. And then the other one that I, I, I've seen before yeah. is 688 bearings. They basically look like R188, mm-hmm. but like they've been scaled up slightly. I think that's what they used in the Hyperstone. Another 
old school design. Nice. Scarfo, we were just talking about your feet. <laughs> You'll get it later. You can go back and watch the VOD. All right, well, I'm going to put that one away. Keep it safe. That's amazing. I have no idea if uh, if um, Mike Neal is going to let me like try to sell these for him, like he let me do with the other ones, but we'll find out later. But um, they are pristine. And uh, yeah, so he let me he let me sell both of his uh, his binary fusions for him afterwards just as a little little help him out kind of thank you for sending them and stuff like that oh my god send me those toe beans Finally, collector pieces yes like just oh and the uh the the wcu binary fusion just went in a second Sion pil yang just scooped that scooped that thing up in no time i think it was i think i posted it for 30 seconds so i don't know what this is must be another woosaw yet yeah, came out of this another woosaw <gasps> a Bar, a bar. Whoa. Okay, this one here. Listen to this chat. I don't know if anyone can hear it. It's so quiet, but it... See if you can hear it, Sam, in my mic. It's. I think I just hear the air. Yeah, it's so the subtle. It's so pushing the it's, air into the microphone. Yeah, but there's this, yeah. there's this subtle ring. It's so nice. Like honestly, it's, it's really nice. I don't know if it's have to do with these, these cool buttons that have, this hole, like letting out some of the sound or something, but. Yeah, and then their case, okay, so they they have that ring. I've never seen this ring thing before. It's got to be stainless steel, Matthew. I think they're all stainless steel. Like that other one was stainless steel acrylic. This has got to be stainless steel. It feels like it. It's not titanium. Yeah, early on, there were a lot of interesting ways to retain a bearing. See, like, C-rings, those O-rings there. Um, Jordy at Focusworks has the... Uh, the key, you know, the access micro yes. pieces that like the yes. banner bit. Yeah, I had that for a little bit when I had my access micro and wow, there's something going. I wish I could like, I wish I could capture that. Not that email. That won't get you there. It's Zachary with an E. Zachary the butcher with an E. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ethan, you missed the first one. You missed the first uh, giveaway. Yeah. Yeah. You got to You got to You got to focus, man. You got to be here. Can't. You can't help anyone. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, uh, Samuel has another uh, giveaway that we're gonna do uh, more near the end. So I, I. I wish I could convey this. It's like I'll have to try to pick it up later with a warp video. Oh, these are gonna warp like crazy. There is like this little. Oh, I can't describe it. It's like it's an airy, glassy sort of. Oh, it's weird. I've never heard it before. I've never heard it before. I wish I knew what this one is called. If anyone know what, knows what this is called, let me know. This is very neat. I love that I'm getting to try some of this, this older classic stuff. So it might be called the double header. The double header. Like the double header. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then, I mean, I don't know. Pam probably knows what that one's called, maybe. Unless you put it in there already in chat and I completely mixed yeah. it. But, um, yeah. Yes, Abigail, I saw your saw your text. I'll look at it later. Can we start getting two Zach snack attacks per video? Oh, hey, hey, Scarf, oh, Jesus Christ, man. Come on. <laughs> Good Lord. Yes, that is the right email. Zachary the Butcher at gmail. Well, dot com. Now you got to put the dot .com in there, but everyone knows that. But yes, at Gmail. Yes. Oh my God. Great. Good. Now you did it. So if I can open this before I get hit with another snack. This has been taped. Don't know what it is. I imagine it's another... 
Oh. Oh! Is that a Magnus? It's gotta be a Magnus. No. Oh. oh. I hear crinkling. Yeah, the, that's paper. the... Uh, uh -oh. What's this? Uh -oh. I... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Good. I want to say that's called the ego. The ego? Maybe chat will know. The ego, yeah, E-G-O. From who? From Wusa still? Magnus, ego. Magnus. Magnus. No, Magnus. I didn't even know he made one like that. That's for you, Scarfo, enjoy. I think that's his first winner. Yes. I think he actually did that before he did the air. Really? I thought the air was his first one. I think that came after. That has two bearings in it, by the way. It does? Oh my god, it would. Mm -hmm. And the buttons are very interesting. You have to take them apart with um, Jack. They won't unscrew. Well, it feel because they, they feel like they're moving. They have little prongs that are friction fit into the bearings. No way. Okay, I got... You have some sticky tacks, you can... I got I got to put away this freaking ice cream bar. I got for Nam, yeah. The ego, uh huh. It's a great spinner. It's a uh, titanium. Got a good bit of weight because it's nice and thick, but actually really really good ergonomics. <clears throat> great design. I do have sticky tack. The buttons are. But I don't know where it is. Maybe twenty millimeters. Maybe um. Maybe silly putty. Um. Yeah, that should work. Really, silly putty is not very sticky though. Is it really just held on there that you lightly? Kind of. I think if you rip it out fast enough, it'll. I'll go see if I have it up here. It's like four, three or four little prongs that friction fit into the uh, the bearing hole. Yeah, that should work. This is so cool. Like try two bearings. Hey, David, what's going on? David, David. Uh, two bearings. Uh, two bearings. I think one of the ideas with two bearings was um, to reduce the play that bearings can have. Did it in the SNEX or the the SNEX? I'm not sure. SNECX. It was the uh, some knife factory. Yeah, you're right. Collaboration. <clears throat> Scarfo that tape. One had two bearings as well. It's like a puzzle spinner. Hey, what's up, Master Choi? Thank you so much, man. I'm glad you enjoy it. Love to hear it. Yeah, Catla has two bearings as well. Interesting. And the rubble? Yeah, I think it reduces the bearing play. Which is something I, I really appreciate in spinners. But um, I have had a couple of those uh, SNE CX no. Pepiaka spinners, Pepiaka, Pepiaka S, I think is what it's called. And two bearings, they are incredibly smooth. So it, it does offer something different, which is cool. No, it's not coming off very easy. And I don't really want to sit here and mess with how to get it, how to get it off, pull out my entire toolbox or something like that. But mm -hmm. um, we'll just trust that you guys know what's going on there. So you're saying there's like little prongs in there that hold it to each other. Uh -huh. And you basically just. Yeah, you just need sticky tack. Yeah. Sticky tack will do it. I do have sticky tack somewhere. It's just buried in a box or something like that. So. It's not. Wife just threw sticky tack at me. Let's try a little bit. Use a Dyson? Like the vacuum cleaner? <laughs> That's actually kind of a good idea. So yeah, just cover the whole button with that stuff and then just pull it straight out like pretty quick. So just like really smash it into the button. And make a little handle. Rip it out real fast. I'm about to throw the spinner across the room. Oh, it worked. Boom. 
Okay. There you go. So the live apparently has ended here. We got to try to get this going back again. Okay. Saying that YouTube is back up. Okay, perfect. I'm live again on YouTube. If people are seeing it on YouTube. Sorry about that. Had a little internet poo poo. I'm back. My internet's poo poo. Okay, and Facebook's working too, apparently. Back pimping. Hey, back pimping. Everything's pimping. Back in, back. Cool. Okay, good. Back, back, back. Fixed it. Fixed it. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll. I'll chop that one together later and make it one thing. So where the fuck were we? We were talking about this and uh, yeah, it worked. You're right. I had to encase that entire damn button in this and it worked. You said make a little handle and it worked for the one side, but rip it out fast. Oh, do it slowly. It won't come out. We got it. It worked. Sort of. The other one came right out. Like you said, oh, Samuel, look at you. I was like, there's no way it's going to work. I was about to be like, your sticky tag must be much stickier in the United States than in Canada or something like that. But yeah. here we go. All right. It looks like five prongs there. On the buttons. Correct. Five prongs. Yeah, that's a very interesting design. Interesting design, right? Like you never, I don't like, are you ever going to see that again? Probably not. Like, I don't think you'd never see that again. And that like when you open a new thing of paint. You open it's a new thing. That's kind of what you see with. Uh, oh. Exactly like, like the, the lip of oh, yeah, yeah. Acrylic paint, paint tubes. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Is it the pond topper that uses an O-ring? Like a friction fit for their spin caps? It does. That's a good point. Yeah. Like exactly. Yeah. Kind of like that. So yeah, the pond hopper is the only one of the spin the spin totems where you pull off the head and you have this little O ring there. That's much more robust. Yeah. I think somebody's made spinners like that before too. Probably. Or buttons, rather. Probably. No, I've seen them before. And it it it's yeah. it's something if you ever it's cool. funny, like when they're not uh if it's not coming off easily, all I had to do was clean that O-ring a little bit. Like wipe it down, and then it was <laughs> and then it was easy enough for it to come back on and off again. One time I was like pulling, I was like, ah, I feel like it's tugging a little bit, but yeah, works great. It's a really, really good design. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's interesting. I imagine those are both just kind of press fit. In there, you do actually have two freaking bearings in there. It looks like he's got fully shielded for the sound because this thing is just so quiet. And uh, yeah, very smooth. Very interesting. Happy I got to try it. Not the biggest fan because it's just so almost too smooth. And it's weird feeling the buttons roll because like you're holding it and you're moving and one button can move independent mm -hmm. of the other one it's very it's very weird it was a it was something i experienced with the original axis micro when they had magnetic buttons really it would, you could feel them spinning in your hand yeah yeah it's like but yeah i don't know i think i if i were you i would you know without a chance i feel like a lot of spinners that i that become my favorite are ones that initially i'm like oh, it's okay you know, yeah. but spinners I really love in the beginning, they kind of have a honeymoon period and then they kind of fade away, you know? Yeah. No, you're right. Uh, it's, I mean, that's how wraps worked for me. It might be something that you, it might be something that grows on you. Yeah. It very well could. I was, um, yeah, wraps weren't, uh, weren't my favorite when I first got them. Same with, um, uh, Pluke, Pluke Jones. He's, he, he has the exact same experience. Yeah. He said that that wraps were like meh. That was it there. And then all of a sudden, it just clicked for him one day. He was he was just using it, and he went, "Oh my god!" He was like, "This is amazing." So, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, Pam, you're right. That's what it was. It was the dot two by Premium Spinners. Pam knows so much. The O ring instead of a threaded button. Yep, she's an OG. Yeah, for sure. she knows everything here. This is perfect. I knew I'd seen it somewhere, but it's been a long time. The dot two has a cool looking spinner. 
pretty small too. I think it's you know that binary fusion size. So I have one more from Mike Neal here. Are we looking at another Magnus? Whoa. Looks like it. This is sharp. Holy crap. Is this the same? Yeah. Got some jimping on the sides there. Same spin thing. It's probably two in there again, maybe. Did you call it jimping? Those corners look pretty hot. They are. They're hot <laughs> jimping, as hell. Like on a knife, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like on the where you're on the back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, see that, but that jimping. Oh, that's what that's called. There, I learned out. something new. Or jimping. Even the, Asylum, the Asylum one has it too, kind of. Yeah, but like big, big style. Bump, 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 you know, for grip. Big style. That's yeah. a great new word. I love that. It's like my new word of the week, jimping. Awesome. Yeah. Wow, this is. Uh... So is that thing pretty sharp or does it, it just look it, sharp? It is <laughs> sharp. That is like. That, it is sharp. Okay. That is a point. Like that but, is. You know, sometimes it, you're like, that looks sharp, and it doesn't. You no, know, to to totally way, right. But, yeah. but no, that's like it is. It's not. It's not like painful. I'm not like going through immense amounts of pain every time I like do it. But it's. I could tell <laughs> that could be. You. It, I mean, the jimping does help with a with a flick. Absolutely. That's like it's actually really good for that. I'm noticing. Yeah, I love that on this. Uh, Asylum. yeah oh wow it's actually really good, really good for a flick on this and it's so light of course being titanium that it's like wow get a lot of purchase yeah absolutely Pam says it looks like a tri pry bar <laughs> the tri pry bar <laughs> cool name tri -pry. there you go samuel the tri pry it looks like it could work as a pry bar <laughs> That's I don't awesome. Think that's ever been done before. No, probably not. I am so happy to have been able to try we all that. We did have an OG spinner with two uh, bottle openers on each end, and I think maybe a pry bar. But there you go. You open up the buttons, and then there's like a we'll and there's like a Phillips head. Way. There's like a Phillips head underneath the buttons or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> you can like yeah. Use it to open Bring back stuff. The multi tool spinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, thank you, Mike Neal, for letting me try all this stuff. This is. This has been pretty awesome. And like I said, I, I'll talk to Mike later and see if he wants me to send these back or if he's like, you know, just thinking about me keeping them and helping him sell them. I don't know, uh, but I will uh, find out because, uh, yeah, if he was thinking about selling them, there's going to be some pretty cool places to get some very pristine older stuff. This is excellent stuff. Yep. Very good. Those are definitely hard to come by. Yeah. Like where where are you gonna find that? Where are you gonna find that quality, right? Like the the WCU when he had the the binary fusion was just it was amazing. Um, and that one instantly sold for six hundred dollars on the secondary there when I put it up. I'm surprised. I got Ali Aminal's uh, yeah. advice there on what to sell it for, and yeah, six hundred just boom gone. And go for more. <laughs> Could have maybe yeah, yeah, but uh, he was Clean finished it, spinners. Yeah, he was he was ecstatic to be able to have it for that much right to be able to get that much for it <clears throat> so yeah. one more little thing i want to uh i want to get done before i lose connection again or something like that or the end of the stream or anything is mike neal also had um some issues with his wrapped light with some magnet stuff so i said send it on over with your other things because it's a great opportunity for me to just kind of quickly show people you know, another little magnet tutorial and we'll see what's going on with this. And I'm like almost hundred percent sure it's a polarization issue, but I thought it'd be really fun to kind of do it up for him and then send him back with some nice, uh, some nice 3d printed, um, stainless steel composite stuff from Anthony Yao from uh, Broke Bones Designs and get them all pimpened out with that thing and then and give them those. So let's see what we got here. The way he was telling to me, that's his other inserts. I'm going to put those back. Let's find out what we got. <clears throat> yeah, it feels a little bit. Yeah, it's just uh, all it is is 
is polarize is polarization. Oh, that's the wrong one. So most of you'll be like, I know what we're talking about here, but we're just gonna fix this really quick for Mike. And then um and then Samuel's got uh got something kind of cool to give away. Do 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 doesn't have any did he send me with his dampeners or are those gone nope no dampeners okay cool crunch it is nothing wrong with a little crunch so hybrid hybrid perfect that's the one I have for <clears throat> these so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the magnet stack. This is just like uh, all strong. What I do is just to test for polarization. I'll just hold the magnet in my fingertips where the magnet down on the slider can't get at it. And then I can hold it over top like this and I can feel right away. Oh, that magnet's attracting to that one. And then I go over here. <laughs> And see, there we go. So this one over here is on the opposite polarization than this one. I can feel it right away. I can go here and I can go, oh, it's bouncing on that one, right? And then I can move over here and, oh, I'm getting sucked towards it. There, I'm repelled, 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 repelled. So there's just one. There's just one right here that's the wrong way. So I can pick it up with this side and then I can just flip the magnets around and now I'm on the right polarization. So it's kind of too hard to do when they're all like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take them all out and I'm just going to put these cool ones in. Yeah, see, and that was the wrong way. I took that one, that one, and then I realized I had to flip it around to get those ones. So I think what happened is that Mike just forgot to kind of use one side of your magnet stick for one side of the slider and then to flip the entire stick over to then use it for the other side of the slider. And this gets even more complicated when you're dealing with two kinds of different magnets. Because what some people will do is they'll, they'll put all the strong ones in and maybe they'll put them all on one side of the thing and they just grab the mediums and they start putting those ones in, right? And we think, we think that since they're all sticking to the metal down here, they're all magnetizing to this, that we have it the right way. But it doesn't matter what polarization you use, each side of this stick will always stick to something that is ferrous and magnetic, but they will not, they will not always stick. So that won't stick there, but this side sticks here, right? So it's just a very, it's like I did it the first time when I opened my first uh, Magnus slider, I had a Magnus dimple. And oh my God, I stayed up, wait, I had to work the next night and I opened it up thinking it was going to be this easy little thing. I was, I was like questioning my reality and what I knew about science and everything like that. I was like, how can it be this complicated? How can this be a thing? How can I not know how this works? And I was like, I was just, I was messed up. I had a horrible sleep that night. I was like thinking about it the whole time, a little tired and I finally like fell asleep. So Here's what I do. I take, I go, okay, I'm doing hybrid. Perfect. So I go and I have the strong one. So it doesn't matter what side I'm starting with because I've taken them all out. So I put that side in there. Then I go there. Then I go down to these two and these two. There. Now I've done that side and I know that I've been using this side. So now I flip it over. And now I go over here. And if you ever want to test and be like, have I done it right? You can do the little pinch thing and hold the magnets in there so they don't go shooting out. And you can go and you can go, oh, okay, so this side is all repelling. So then if you go to the other one and it sucks in at everyone on that side, you know that you have them right or vice versa. So I put those away. And I think I'm going to need two, four, six. I think I'm going to need a little bit more. Take some of mine so I can get these all in. So now I have to make sure that I get the right polarization on this side. So I have to find the right side of this stick. 
of magnets. So I'm going to do the same thing, hold like that, touch it to it. And if you have a side, like I got lucky, that's pulling to those ones. So that means it, it's supposed to go to those ones. So then you use that side of that stick. You're welcome, Scarfo. AJ. And I, now, I would say so. <laughs> now we're just going to flip it. And now we're good. And make sure. So make sure it always pulls to the side that you're working on. And then you'll be fine. Oh, doesn't want to take that one. You stay there. Stay there. So this is going to be kind of cool. Uh, Mike Neal can watch this and I'll talk to him later. Because I'm going to let him pick some other ones too. Maybe he won't want these ones. I don't know. I just thought it'd be neat. Because they come with these little covers. And then they also come... So these are the original, the original design that uh, Anthony Yao made, and he made his a little thicker because he made them designed to use with these tiny little O-rings that I bought. He told me where to buy on Amazon, and he used the same ones for his broke bone, his uh, his bone slider. So. When I asked him, I said, hey, so there's like still a little bit of crunch when I use the foam dampeners in my, um, with your inserts and the thing. And he was like, oh, okay. He's like, I always use these, uh, these little O-rings and it's fine. So I said, where do you get those? And he sent me the link and I sent it to him and he's right. So this is uh, one of the only inserts that I know of where you can actually use O-rings with the light. It's kind of neat. And since I have all these extras, I'm going to load these in for him. And then it should all work really good. So I'm going to take this and gently put that on top. Oh. That's a nice weight. And then there's one little final thing. <clears throat> it has these little caps that you can put on as well. Wow. That makes it like that makes it quieter, very grippy, and it's all fixed now. So there you go, Mike. I'll send that back to you with whatever spinners you want back, and you can talk to me and ask me, uh, and I'll let you pick some colors and stuff and some other inserts because it would do some ones with like bumpers too and stuff like that, and we'll get you all uh, we'll get you all set up again. David Hume, you can also stall the magnets while the sides are in are in sandwich position. The magnets will be incorrect. But yes, you can do one at a time, I think is what uh, um, Dave is trying to say, is that you can take one of these out and then you can put the plate back on there and pull the top off. And then it will already automatically attract to the other side because it's coming through the plate. So that's one way to do it if you want to keep that um, straight. But in our case, we had a jumble of things going on, right? So we didn't know what was happening. So we had to just kind of, we had to just get rid of everything and get it all out of the way to then make that work. So there we go. I'd also love to send it back with uh, some of um, Timothy's uh, beta version ones as well, if he wanted some of those. Those are kind of cool. So we go. That's my, uh, that's all I got, man. Do you want to do, did you, so what do you want to give away? What was your cool thing? Hello? Oh, did you switch headphones? I don't think I can hear you anymore. How about now? Uh, yep. I got you now. Got me? Okay. Yeah, my, my AirPods died. Oh, okay. Yep. No, I got you now. Sounds good. Okay. Um, sorry about that. <clears throat> That's good. What were you saying? Oh, I was saying, uh, what did you want to give away? I mean, I know what you wanted to give away, but uh, oh, yeah. it's, uh, yeah. Well, I've got these oracles. You guys have probably seen these. 
at some point. Yep. Oracle. There we go. Yeah. A little slider, little slider thingy. And we did a lot of testing with those and we wound up with a bunch of parts that I'm not really using for anything. So, um, so we just made a fridge magnets out of these. So thing on my fridge over there is we held up, you know, any notes or cards or invitations. So cool. We held up with these magnets. So it's basically the button for the sorry. coracle. Things backwards. Sorry, this is that's a button for the coracle, and you just stick it on the fridge. Awesome. So I've got a steel one and a copper one. Steel and copper. So there's the copper. Clean it up. Push it, or whoever wins it. Um, but yeah, we can do a uh, a giveaway for that. And I was thinking that we could let people guess in chat. The amount of designs that I'll put out. Spinners only. Oh. Okay. So if, if, if just so we're clear, so they have to they have to guess uh, in number how many spinner mm -hmm. designs you have made. And Correct. it would like the nectar and the nectar plus would be two different ones. Like we're counting those kind of as, as two. Yes. Okay, so we're not just mm -hmm. okay. So sizes, so it's different sizes of the same looking thing do count. Yeah, but not materials. Not materials. Okay, just, just design. Yeah. So is just it going to be like kind of the first person that kind of, kind of guesses it right, or? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Well, Ethan's already gone with lucky number thirteen. So. Um, keep going. Keep going. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let's see. Yeah. And they're going to get to pick which one or something that they, uh, they. Yeah, they can pick uh, either the copper or the steel. Excellent. And then I will give away the other one, whichever one they don't pick. Looks like Cool Deep. Is it? Who? Cool Deep. Cool Deep. Cool Deep. Got it? Cool Deep. Hmm? 14? 14. Okay, Cool Deep. Yeah. Stop guessing. Cool Deep got it with 14. Oh, Ethan, you were so close. <laughs> yeah, right off the bat. <laughs> and like, then Ethan oh, guesses yeah. 15. <laughs> I was very quickly. <laughs> 14. All right, so here's what I have. That's I have awesome. A, the first one was the Cruiser. And we did the Bantam. Mm -hmm. I can actually show it to you. Here's a Bantam. This is a module. Oh, I've seen it's got those, a TI yeah. body. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, stainless steel weights on this with titanium buttons. Um, the Bantam V2, which is basically like a nest version. Right, right. With, with a, the okay, with yeah. Version. Sorry, and Ethan. We have uh, the Yes, nest, you won Cool Deep. <laughs> the big nest. The Leica, which I don't know if everybody has seen this one. I've seen I smatterings of that one. Things. Yeah, just smatterings. Yeah. It reminds me of a Phantom by uh, by two R nine nine or ten of them out. Yeah, this was in twenty twenty, I think. Oh, quite a while ago. It's actually uh, designed uh, with inspiration from the Savenza. I as the uh, absolutely scale of the Savenza. And uh, it was cool. I was talking to them about making the spinner, and they were like, "Hey, yeah, go for it." And I was like, "Okay, that's cool." <laughs> um, but the Leica. Um, and then Ziggy, Triangle, Triangle V2, Big Tri, Poe, Big Poe, and then Connectors. So. Awesome. 14. Congrats. 14. Cool Deep. Deep. Do you want steel or copper? Yeah, Cool, cool Deep, you got to choose steel or it's copper. Pretty much. For your magnet. Yeah. They function the same. I guess the copper is going to be a little heavier, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So. And then anyone, anyone who didn't hear before, uh, so wh whichever one, cold deep, cold deep, picks the opposite one. The leftover one is going to be given away by Samuel on the two EDC Facebook group. If you're on Facebook, you're on the right group right now watching it. But if you're on YouTube and you don't know about this group yet, you the description uh, has the link in the description of this video, so you can go ahead and do that and go there and sign up. Yeah. And like Pam, if you want to go in on it, just shoot me an email. There we go. Perfect. Uh, Gmail.com. Yep. If anyone is I'll not on Facebook at all and wants to get an in, just do the the two EDC at gmail.com. I will throw that uh, email into the description as well 
for it. Awesome. Copper, please, he says. David, um, Copper, please. Um, Copper. Okay, you got it. Okay, perfect. Congrats, Cody. Excellent. So do you want him to just PM you or whatever or something? Or we'll get a, yeah. Yeah. If, if he's on Facebook, he can. Uh, yeah. There you go. You, you can PM just PM. Can yep. Email. Samuel yeah. Roscoe. Yep. So you're, you're already on his group right now. So all you have to do is look for the admin and you'll find a link to his, uh, to his profile and you can uh, PM him and get all that sorted out. That's awesome. I love it. Perfect. Well, sorry about all the, uh, sorry, Ethan. Technical difficulties. Yes, yeah, sorry, Ethan. God, you got it. You got a hard time there. Damn. First, you had to help your mom, and then you guessed <laughs> one off. You guessed before we even finished. I know. It was like right there. Fuck, just one off, man. I know. Ah, you got a lot of cool stuff, Ethan. You got a lot of cool stuff. He does. <laughs> he has a lot cooler stuff than I have when I was his age. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So yeah, thanks everyone. Sorry about the the technical crap. That sucked. That's the first time that's happened. Uh, hope that doesn't become a trend or anything like that. Uh, at least Facebook stays streaming and it recovered. So later I'll try to go because I record all of this. So I even recorded the mishap and everything. So I think what I'll do is I'll go, uh, I'll kill those other VODs for those um, other ones. And I'll just put out the full version of this kind of thing. And you guys can... Uh, watch it later that way because it kind of be annoying having it in these like two separate videos which is what face uh, what youtube's going to do they're going to make these two separate vod videos that look the same so i'll do that i'll fix it up for you guys awesome love it so did you am i am i doing any kind did you come up with like a catchphrase or something like that for the end or i did want to mention that um didn't already it's been quite a while since we started <laughs> yeah. uh, but we've got some uh stuff in the works that will be uh, sent off to allison miles at flyaway toys oh. for sarah coding and the, the top colors were purple hunter green white and black so you guys can keep an eye out uh, at the group purple and yeah hunter green green, white and purple. black mm -hmm. for the top colors for sarah coding okay and white and then purple and then black and green Tied. Interesting. That white's going to be hard to keep clean, but I love my white Cerakote attic that I got from. Uh, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it, is it hard to keep clean? So far, no. So far, so far, I find okay. that it doesn't really yeah. pick up much. I don't think there will be any problems with it. And it, it, it just cleans so easily. Like it just, it's easy to, to wipe awesome. anything off. I think I had uh, like a little bit of um, like rubbing residue come under the button kind of thing. It had like, I don't know what happened. I got mm -hmm. a little something and it just. So I had a little wet wipe or something like that and just wiped right off. So it was great. Now, Cerakote's pretty, uh, pretty resilient stuff. Yeah, so that's exciting. We're getting some Cerakoted stuff from Allison. Perfect. Well, uh, pay homage to Timmy, old man Tim. Oh, really? <laughs> we can say kisses internet. Yeah. Kiss, kisses what? Every time he signed off, he would say kisses internet. Kisses, oh, kisses internet. Kisses, yeah, kisses internet. Oh, oh that's right. perfect. So. <laughs> I love that. All right, that. ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, we got Ethan here. So, boys and girls, <laughs> this was great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Samuel. You're great. Thanks, Your knowledge was amazing. I love talking to about all this stuff. Thank you, Mike Neal, for telling me or you're letting me see all of these old, old spinners and. Oh, Mokume, so good. Thank you, uh, Jimmy Acker, for making uh, the these tea times. It is just, I'm going to go play with these probably right after and just, just freaking lose myself in it. And uh, thank you for our winners. Um, we know how to contact Samuel. You're all linked up. And then uh, Jeremy's going to contact me. I love it. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting lots of feet picks, I guess, and pet picks. It's going to be great. It's perfect. <laughs> all right. Back. Anytime. <laughs> Kisses, internet!